Yes, finally, finally, finally. So of course I'm back with her really quick. Of course, fuck about this video. I have no idea why I did that though. Of course, though, but yeah, got a lot of news, a lot of new stuff. You know, the next episode review. My camera's just going back and forth, fluxing a little bit though. So, um, but yeah, though, I think everything should be fine and everything. Of course, I'm gonna turn that down just a little bit because I'm music. Whoa. Yeah, I'm gonna turn that Sorry about that. That was really loud for me for some odd reason. I have no idea because I. I checked out my music beforehand. It was all good and everything. All grand, all grandiose, all great, beautiful, and awesome. Then suddenly, right here, it just gets like, like Thursday, every video, pretty much. But yeah, um, I got a lot of videos to, to do today. Another three-day recording grind. Great. Well, no, I have time. I have time to record and everything, of course, though. But because again, it's just typical, typical stuff. But you already know how dry it goes, stuff like that. Very quick, very easy. A lot of this coming out late and stuff like that, just because I've been recording so much. It's kind of hard because. If you're me and you record like almost two or three videos almost a day every week pretty much, you're gonna get like the schedule and it's gonna be like, yeah, I don't know when to upload this video, I don't know when to upload that video. Just then I gotta record the video and that takes a long time. Like especially with three videos I like to do all in a row, it takes like almost like an hour or two and that can't get time to consume. That because I'm gonna let get out there for a second. I can't actually get a lot of time consuming and everything, so of course, all these videos being like, you know, scheduled out, getting out, being done, you're in line and everything, of course, stuff with this. But, um, I, I like this better. I like this better. Because I always do like this. I like doing this better for a little bit. But yeah, that's how, um, uh, it's just, it's, it's crazy. So, yeah, of course, gonna review over the episode, go over it and stuff like that. Of course, typical stuff, random stuff, you're not just. Give my full thoughts and beans. But episode just started out with a quick little battle between Reggie, um, Steel, and of course this guy, Cliff Guy's name already though. So yeah, um, of course Bill's getting ready for his next um, mission for his um, um, next char run and everything, of course though. Um, super excited about it. He is lower on the list though, so of course he has kind of, you know, catch up against game up a little bit though. And of course Asher is always, is always, you know, gonna support him pretty much all the way thick and thin. Of course, um, with Reggie Ice, of course Reggie, um, basically he's just going over, for the story space, he's just going over all the Reggie's telling go all the information and everything, of course, again, like I said, Ash always definitely goes back though, so of course he's ready to go and everything. We get, um, back in the Ice Tundra area, of course, not the same area I think we saw in the, well, the first episodes of the Trial, maybe? But yeah, no, this is a completely different area, it looked like the Snow area, where we saw, um, Hunter J, I think, called call the Reggie, like, Reggie Gig is Steel, and we do see it in the teaser, we do see in the new opening, so I did say the new opening, that's the best Pokemon opening so far. They put a lot of animation, a lot of budget. All there is a budget animation with that opening, it is so the best Pokemon opening, period. I'm standing by the hill until forever and ever and ever until I die. Why well, I shouldn't say that on the hill, so I'm, I'm fine, I'm fine, I'm not a goof. Come on, guys, I'm not a goof. I'm just doing this for content. I love it so much. Please, no, please! But yeah, um, of course, though, um, Again, like I said, we see um, Gary, of course, catching up and stuff like that, of course. Um, then they make the temple, trying to open it and everything, of course. Um, I know the animation error right here. It looks like Go has his, um, like, regular outfit on. Uh, I think it, uh, it looks like an animation error. Really. Um, my eyes are just so, so focused and good nowadays. But yeah, of course, see the, um, the other researcher, of course, come up, trying to open the door and everything. Of course, they pretty much um, see all the Reggies and everything pretty much behind them. They're catching them, getting pretty much all the Reggies together, pretty much. So yeah, I guess they're catching them, battling them. Game all together because I think Legend Electro and Draco, Electro, Electric and Draco, of course, are here. Again, this is literally the Crown Tundra DLC, pretty much. The Crown kind of Tundra DLC piece from the game, so that's pretty much the arc of Pepco, is just going there, pretty much. Of course, all the radius pretty much open the door for them and stuff like that, of course, again. Um, then, of course, go and um, Gary into the temple and everything. Talking about like their past missions and everything, pretty much. Um, yeah. Yeah, basically, like, how Go lost and everything. Of course, Gary's kind of not really happy, but just talking about the ambition and everything, of course. Again, a little good um, conversation between these guys. Again, I actually take a whole backseat to the hike, takes a whole backseat to this episode. But I think it was really good, though, because of um, just Go and Gary's relationship. Like, they're kind of similar. Like, Go doesn't trust anybody. Gary was a jerk in the beginning, and I had, like, real confident, calm. I'm um, growing more of the people and stuff like that, of course. And I found a little puzzle area room, of course. I actually had to work together again. Literally, just Go and Gary working together pretty much in this episode and everything, of course. Find out different rhythms and paths for um all this stuff so yeah um am feeling a little beat and kind of like you know 
just again find the beat, find the right bar that before the opening door and everything, of course. Um, again, it's kind of like fail, you know, just kind of go back and forth over and over and over again. But yeah, it's good. It really is a good bonding episode between these two, though. I really like it, though. And of course, they, um, you know, find a way they work together, of course. Again, instead of working on their own, they pretty much kind of come together and everything. Then, of course, we got these two people back again with our Frost Mob. Literally, just the little come on. But yeah, um, I actually need to scroll down for this one. But yeah, um, of course, they're trying to take over, you know, try to catch it before they do, pretty much. So <laughs> they got the temple already. I saw all that, of course, but yeah, I'm probably going to another the way in. So, of course, you yeah, know it's battling time and everything, of course. Go and Gary won't take this crap, so of course, they literally just come out blazing with Cinerace and, of course, Blast with and everything, and they just fall, just bust out and stuff like that, of course. But yeah, again, like I said, just a really good segue. Of course, we already knew they were going to portray them, we already knew how like, they were going to be portray them, cover them, blow them away. We already know how that was going to go anyway, though, pretty much, though. So, yeah. But of course, though, um, of course, Cinder Race, of course, Blast Runs are ready to go and battling, of course. Um, of course, I think I forgot I completely forgot the Pokemon's name. I know it's Gally or um, Cofagrigius. I completely forgot his name. Yeah, I like Gally Pokemon. I kind of just forgot now. Out and under the radar. Whatever, I escaped. I'm so sorry. Just I'm way all over the place today. So, yeah, of course, um, they start to all work together. The coordinated attacks are trying to work at home a little bit too effectively for Go and, of course, Gary. And then, of course, uh, they start to fight back a little bit more. Like, they just battling back and forth. And they just only get obliterated and stuff like that, of course. And they move on to the next area, pretty much. Yeah, the pinners just gotta like, move on and everything, of course, though. But yeah, I know that Reggie let go and Draco. Of course, we can definitely see them in the little pieces right here. Like, Reggie let go, Reggie Draco. So easy, so simple. And of course, they actually just fly, just come out and stuff like that, of course. Uh, we see Flygon, of course, battling like, Reggie Lucky, um, like, which makes sense because it's really electric type. I don't think it's electric and flying. Of course, we see Hatterene or Hatterene. Hatterene, of course, we're on Reggie Draco. And of course, um, they start to battle, and, um, they start just to battle, go back and forth and stuff like that, of course. Then they just realize they're just being like, Beating like way back and forth, like attacking, trying to force the way through. And of course, they get like on ahead of him to get beat. Of course, next Pokemon is Blaster and Center Race again, a little weakened, not really weakened, but really not doing either from the last battle, pretty much. But yeah, of course, um, Center Race gets just a little bit paralyzed while, um, Reggie Draco just sandstorms everything pretty much. Again, they kind of just see him, you know, falling back and forth, trying to give him ideas and strategies, pretty much stuff like that, trying to learn their patterns, trying to, um, you know, work together pretty much. Again, this episode for Go and of course, um, Gary's really good, again, they're working together, goes on, like, you know, more volume and stuff like that, of, like, you know, working together pretty much, and they catch Pokemon, and then Gary gets Reggie Draco, Go gets Reggie Lucky, and of course, we learn about the information and stuff like that, of course, again, all the Reggies pretty much have to be together, all the Pokemon are drained out, they pretty much dated and everything, woohoo, yay, and stuff like that, of course, but yeah, then of course, um, Go starts to learn one few lessons as he's working on more journey on pieces, and of course, Go Gary kind of hounds on him and stuff like that, though, of course, but he's you know, admits to him being a good job, again, another good, beautiful anime episode. Of course, we see shown an anime protagonist. Of course, bright, teary, blue hair girl come out. Of course, all the Reggies are together pretty much. And they um, they just pretty much all reunite them together, releasing them. Then, of course, we see probably the big boy um, probably teleport all the way. It's always so important. Way pretty much Reggie. Um, you know, um, Gigas again, the big leader and stuff like that. Again, we already know there's multiple legendaries. We know they reproduce every five thousand hundred years, so pretty much. Uh, we already know there's like multiple legendaries. We know that they're not breaking the Pokemon from Battle Frontier. It's fine, but yeah. Then of course, um, we see Professor kind of come in and stuff like that, um, but he's saying good job to everybody, pretty much, um, congratulating them and stuff like that, of course, pretty much Horace Gun, you know, is on his journey, on his way, pretty much, and of course, go get back to Ash, I love this part of this episode right here, where basically Ash is just training, and, you know, all the Pokemon are just kind of conked out and stuff like that, just tired, pretty much waiting for Go to respond, of course, Ash is super excited and happy for him, pretty much working together with Gary and stuff like that for Go and everything, again, a really good episode for Go, honestly, really, really good episode for him, so, trying to get my full thoughts and peens and stuff like that, um, but yeah, I'm not bad of an episode for Go though. Like really, really good for Go. I'm glad he's you know he's basically learned. Yeah, he basically learned, of course, like I said, to work together and stuff like that. Um, we are know at the beginning how he was. You know, he doesn't want to work with anybody. He pretty much does not want to do anything with anybody. Of course, he wants to be with um, Ash a lot. He's learned to learn more about friendship working together. Friendship pretty much being his only friend after a long time. But of course, Horace comes back in. Gary hounds him on a little, little bit in this episode. But overall, does a really, really good job. Uh, getting Reggie Lucky like, and Draco was already a leak like 5,000 years ago. The next episode, as time to scrutiny, is going to be the fall episode. So it's going to be all Ash, Fire Temple, Kumon, Tony, Charizard. Um, we're going to see uh, I like the buyer. I think Garchomp. I think Gary catches the Garchomp. Obviously, like Garchomp in the episode. I guess it's going to come, probably come in and see the battle, maybe. Again, they're battling pretty much in Kento because Ash does go back to Kento, I believe, in that episode. And we see Gary. Um, we do see Gary um, in that episode, too. Not Gary, we see um, Paul, we see, um, I think a guard trump, like I said in that episode, like a whole like field um, there. Um, 
Or perhaps because he Paul again. He got to lose command over at Kento. I guess he just found like Ash on him down or something like that. Um, of course, he's burning it because he charged it in that little piece of episode images uh, that we just saw. And we're gonna get a preview for that. I know everybody in the moment's waiting for that episode. I am too. I'm ready to review that episode. Ooh, they like some good upload these reviews probably right when I'm done with it though. Just kind of get them done and make sure they're up and I'm ready for the channel. Um, just cause, um, yeah, just give them a full dozen of the episode overall. Again, that full episode, I'm ready for that full episode. It's been since Zeno, like eight or seven years probably now, nine years, maybe ten decade now. Whew, it's been a long time since we got Paul, and it's crazy. I mean, we got a call back to him anyway here. Him and Alon, and I was like, yeah, they're gonna be in here. They mentioned it, we talked about them pretty much in Journeys, and what's confirmed pretty much everybody's gonna come back. And we do see Tracy in that um, little you know, Masterclass 8 episode where everybody got revealed pretty much, though all the champions within the region, even Alon, being a runner up in the Kaldos. He was kind of the Kaldos champion, technically? If you really want to get technical, he was the runner up, but he technically was the Kaldos champion. When you really think about it, though, because actually did get close to winning, though. But. I mean, Alola, of course, like I said, they're pretty much every champion from every region, and yes, I think, yeah, and Steven, woohoo, like, I don't have any, sorry, I don't have any, really any good things with them at all, but Cynthia grew up with her a lot, uh, Iris gotten a lot better, um, of course, Ash, Leon's being the strongest part of all the regions and stuff like that, though, but yeah, um, not a bad episode, again, go throwing more, you know, while working together with this team and everything, really good coordinations, really good attacks, really good episode, again, ever since that Alola episodes and really fun her father episode, I reviewed episodes been so good, so beautiful, the episode was so animated well, the last episode was animated well, the calling on um, the Goat Ash episode has been so good, again, we do see a friend in Charizard, and we see all those fire type, fire, we see pretty much all those fire type Pokemon, they had a bond with them, which pretty much every reason gets a bond with fire type, um, backstory and everything. Yeah, we do see a friend in that episode starting out Paul and I like the fire though, so we could see a battle between them again. Honestly, I would love to see that. I would love to see that. It would be beautiful, awesome, animated, best in the journeys, our style and stuff like that. They're going down here with, with this road now. I think it's going to be really, really good, in my opinion. I think it's going to be really, really good. Really, really done. Really, really animated well. It's going to be really good. I'm going to be happy for that, though. Overall episode, I think it was really good. Really amazing. Really good for going and stuff like that. Really good. It's really good character development. It's a human Gary. You can see the backstabbing trainers again from the episode going up to this chorus. And yeah, pretty much everything from the last couple of episodes. Hope you do one for go. So yeah, see you guys there though. Thanks for watching. Have a great day. Great I'll you again though. So stay safe, wash your hands, God bless all of you for going out, putting more mats and talking but really to the best thing if you can go outside, tell some grass, eat some cooking, you don't know who I am. Um go drink some water, go brush your teeth, go eat some breakfast, go eat. I will I will stalk you from the screen. I will find you if you do not eat your food. I will find you. I just keep up, guys. So I like to think about all this and both of course like it. I was always good. I liked it. One step closer to go for it, go for its goal between me and everything. You already know we're gonna get rich kick this episode. But please probably can catch me soon. Some of the juries get hot in this year, probably. We got Scarlet and Violet coming out later this year, but who knows? Because could we get something new? Could we get something different? I don't know. <laughs> yeah, okay, that'll be good. So yeah. See you later though, okay though.